grab your paint pot and brush and jump up the ladder. Dunk your brush in and let's get this done. But before we crack on with it, I feel like I need to point out the colours of a feature wall are normally bright and vibrant, meaning cutting into a white ceiling is extremely tricky compared to regular whites and cream paints. These colours can be more forgiving if you have little crashes when cutting in. However, feature walls can have a high contrast in colour, which makes them stand out in a room. Trouble is, any crashes and flicks of paint will also really stand out. You don't want that. So be careful, keep a steady hand, follow these instructions and you'll be sweet. Always beginning at the top of the wall, starting in a corner. Brush your paint on the wall parallel with the ceiling. Be sure to stay away from the ceiling edge. It's very important. With your first brush stroke, do not try to cut into your edge. There'll be way too much paint on your brush for that. You'll end up with a fat edge, pushing paint onto your ceiling and giving you a wonky line. And that's no good. We don't want that. Brush on some paint just away from the edge. This brush stroke is just so you can dump some paint on so we have something to work with. The second brush stroke will now cut into the wall. This is the money maker. This now allows us to get that nice straight line that everybody asks about all the time. Starting in the very corner of the wall, wiggle your brush tips to meet the ceiling edge. Now with only the tips, glide your brush along the edge. As you move your brush along, it picks up the paint you laid down with the first brush stroke. This evenly spreads the paint to the edge. Just move slowly at first. If you find that your brush is picking up too much paint and forming a fat edge, move your brush away from the edge and slap away the paint onto the wall and start again from where you left off. Keep painting along the edge with your brush tips until you run out of paint. Now that you have a dry brush, run your brush over the lot again and get rid of all those lines from where you stopped and started. When you do this, stay well away from the edge. You might accidentally hit the ceiling and ruin all that great cutting in you just did. This is called laying off with a brush. This evenly spreads out the paint and makes it look like you painted your edge in one long brush stroke. If it looks like there's still too much paint up there and it appears heavy or ropey, wipe out your brush on the edge of your paint pot and now with a dry brush, have a go at picking up that extra unwanted paint off the wall with another long brush stroke. Then lastly, feather out your outer side of your paint edge. Doing this will help blend in the brush strokes when it's time to roll. Now before you jump down your ladder and move along, it's a good idea to start cutting in the corner edge as well. Just far enough down so you can later continue cutting in without the ladder. Use the same cutting in techniques as before, but this time using vertical brush strokes. Remember to start off slow and steady to keep a good line. With time and practice, you will gain speed and control. Repeat all the steps to cut in the ceiling and bring down the other side of the wall. Now that you're done with the ladder, continue to cut in and bring down the corners from where you left off, down to the skirtings. Don't forget to cut in light switches and anything else that might be on the wall using the same technique. And now it's time to cut in the lower levels this will be your skirtings or the wall's floor edge, using the same technique as before, but upside down. And there you have it. The feature wall is perfectly cut in. It couldn't be easier.